I'm going to quote David Hay here. He said, Tyson Fury, many do believe, is number one because Fury beat Wilder and he's the lineal champion. But I think it's the perfect time for Anthony Joshua. Tyson Fury is on such a high. The victory over Wilder made him look a million dollars. His confidence will be sky high and I genuinely think Fury and his team don't rate AJ as highly as they should do. That in itself causes potential issues. If Tyson Fury attacks Anthony Joshua in the same manner he did against Deontay Wilder, I don't believe it works in his favor. I believe he'll be too open, too wide, and someone as fast, athletic, and as skillful as Anthony Joshua will be able to punch right through the middle and take him out and take him out early. I know it's a controversial prediction. I just think Styles make fights. I believe he is the only guy who has the tools to beat Tyson Fury. He's the man who can get close enough. He's the man who throws punches that are fast enough to land. He hits hard enough to drop him and hurt him. Nobody else in the world has the skill set that Anthony Joshua has. Nobody is technically at the same level as Anthony Joshua. I'm not saying he's better than Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury is a better boxer than Anthony Joshua, but Anthony Joshua moves quicker than Tyson Fury. Anthony Joshua's explosive power is bigger than Tyson Fury's. Anthony Joshua's combination punching is quicker than Tyson Fury's. Tyson Fury is quicker with one punch, with the speed of the jab and the speed of the feet, but he is not faster with the combinations. I do think it's got to happen inside the first six rounds for Anthony Joshua. If it doesn't, I don't think he beats him. Tyson Fury is very, very hard to work out, but I still stand by Anthony Joshua. I just think he will jump on him. He won't care what's coming back. And that's the only way to beat Tyson Fury. Okay, I'm sure John Fury is going to be seething <laughs> in his next interview, reading about what David Hay said. He's probably preparing to uh, call David, a David Hay out for an all-in <laughs> in his backyard. He, he was pretty uh, aggressive towards David Hay last time they were in the studio together when uh, they were talking about the Deontay Wilder fight. Actually, that wasn't the last time he was in the studio. He, he's seen him in the studio since then. But either way, yeah, John Fury can't be happy hearing about David Hay saying this. I agree with David Hay, though. Um, I'm not necessarily picking AJ to win because I think uh, David Hay is. But in terms of what he said about the tactics, if Tyson Fury moves forward from the opening bell and tries to be as aggressive with AJ as he was with Wilder, that is going to backfire. I think it will. I think it will. AJ is better coordinated than Deontay Wilder. He's got power in both hands. Wilder's just the right hand. He's a much better counter puncher. And he's just technically all around better than Wilder. So AJ's going to have more answers if, he's get, if he gets pushed onto the back foot by Tyson Fury than Wilder did. He's definitely going to have more answers. And exactly what he said about AJ's ability on the inside, quicker with combinations. He's way quicker when it comes to combinations than Tyson Fury. He's quicker with power shots at long range. His jab might not be as quick as Tyson Fury's, although, you know, some people would debate that. But perhaps Tyson Fury's got a quicker jab and all that kind of stuff. But when it comes to power shots at long range and at any range, actually, AJ's power shots are just way faster than Fury's. And when he puts his hands together, not only is he faster than Fury, but his punches are cleaner than Tyson Fury's shots when he puts them together. So anyone who thinks that AJ doesn't do certain things better than Fury is delusional beyond all belief. And I've heard people like Ben Davison and Frank Warren say that Fury is better than AJ in every department. That is just completely absurd. You know, I would expect that from Frank Warren because he's Fury's promoter, so he's going to talk him up. But Ben Davison isn't even training Fury anymore. I know he's a friend of his, but, you know, Ben Davison's a smart guy. Surely he can see that Anthony Joshua is better than Tyson Fury in certain areas. He's definitely a better combination part. If you can't see that, then, you know, love is blinding you. That's all I can say. Uh, that doesn't mean that AJ is better than Tyson Fury overall. I think a lot of it is going to come down to the tactics. 
A lot of it's going to come down to the mindset and the confidence. Tyson Fury could certainly beat AJ, but I could also see uh, AJ winning the fight, depending on how each guy decides to go about their work. But yeah, I definitely agree with David Hay that if Tyson Fury fights the way he did against Wilder, he's putting himself in a very, very precarious position, far more precarious than it was against Wilder as far as I can tell. Because AJ has a lot more answers if somebody decides to come forward at him, particularly as big a target as Tyson Fury. This is not a little six foot one guy who can tuck up like a little ball like Andy Ruiz. No. <laughs> Tyson Fury is a much bigger target than that. Not as quick as Andy Ruiz in terms of the hand speed. His arms are much longer. So when Tyson Fury throws a shot, there's much more of a gap than if Andy Ruiz throws a shot. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, some people are going to say, hey, AJ didn't do too well against Andy Ruiz with him coming at him. But uh, Andy Ruiz is a different kind of fighter. Andy Ruiz is a better pressure fighter than Tyson Fury. More proficient in that style. Uh, Tyson Fury is a very versatile, all-round good boxer, but his real forte is slick stuff on the back foot. That's where he's going to be most effective, I think, against Anthony Joshua, is with the back foot stuff. If he's trying to come forward and you know do what he did against Wilder, hmm, I, I don't think that's going to work out well for him. In fact, if he's going to come forward against AJ, I think what would be a better tactic would be to actually smother AJ to get so close and so much on top of him that he's pushing him back, pushing him into the ropes and all that kind of thing and trying to wear him down. But if he's moving forward at long range and mid range, I think that's really dangerous for Tyson Fury. I think Fury's got to be all the way out or all the way in against Anthony Joshua. If he's in that mid range or even aggressive at long range, very dangerous. He's either got to use his weight and extra size to completely smother AJ and fight in what UFC, they call it dirty boxing, which is up close, throwing little clubbing shots, very, very close, pushing the opponent on the back foot so he doesn't have the, uh, the balance or the leverage to be able to hit you with anything hard. Perhaps, you know, Andre Ward style, perhaps he could do that. But that notwithstanding, I just think it's best for him to box on the back foot and be slick. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'm out. Come and join me on Patreon and access my weekly no holds barred censorship-free podcast where we lift the lid on a wide range of controversial topics. It's not mainstream friendly. It's not politically correct, but that's the whole point. We dare to stand as a beacon of reason against an army of insanity. Just head on over to my Patreon page and select the tier called Hatman Hot Topics. You'll gain access to a minimum of two hours of exclusive content every single week, including podcasts, videos, interviews, live stream Q&A sessions, as well as my popular Confessions of a Nightclub Bouncer series. Not to mention a vast back catalog of hundreds of hours of previous episodes. You can listen via the Patreon app with the option to download in high quality MP3. We've also got a Discord server where you can come and chat and hang out with myself and other members. There's no contract, no commitment, and you can cancel at any time. So come and join our community of free and critical thinkers by signing up with me here on Patreon today.